Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about the National Geospatial Policy 2022. Now the Ministry of Science and Technology has recently notified the National Geospatial Policy 2022. The geospatial technology is an emerging technique to study the real earth geographic information using geographical information system that is GIS, remote sensing RS and other ground information from various devices and instruments this technology correlates an object's position with its geographic coordinates now if we talk about its application geospatial technology has application in almost every domain of the economy ranging from agriculture to industries development of urban or rural infrastructure banking and finance resources mining water disaster management social planning delivery services etc India's geospatial economy is expected to cross rupees 63000 crore by 2025 at a growth rate of 12.8% and will provide employment to more than 10 lakh people mainly through geospatial startups now the objective of national geospatial policy 2022 is a 13 years guideline which aims to make india a world leader in global geospatial space by the year 2025 the targets to be achieved by this policy are creating a high accuracy geod for the entire country now geod is an irregular shaped ball that scientists use to more accurately calculate depths of earthquakes or any other deep object beneath the earth's surface targets to be achieved by year 2030 are first creating high accuracy digital elevation model dem for entire country that is 25 cm for plain 1 to 3 m for hilly and mountainous areas Secondly, developing a geospatial knowledge infrastructure (GKI) underpinned by integrated data and information framework. By the year 2035, targets to be achieved are creating high resolution accuracy bathymetric geospatial data of inland waters and sea surface topography of shallow or deep seas to support blue economy bathymetric data includes information about the depths and shapes of underwater terrain next is carrying out survey and mapping of subsurface infrastructure in major cities and towns also creating national digital twin of major cities and towns now we will be discussing about the geospatial knowledge infrastructure GKI focuses on utilizing data infrastructure for knowledge creation to create a substantial digital society. GKI will be enabled by integration of geospatial data technology concepts with fourth industrial revolution technologies and growing digital infrastructure like web, cloud networks etc. Now the national digital twin is a virtual replica of a physical asset, process or service that lies at the core of the new digital revolution. It would be an ecosystem of smart, dynamic, connected digital twins enabled by secure and interoperable data sharing to facilitate better decision making. National Digital Twin Strategy would be devised by GDPDC that is Geospatial Data Promotion and Development Committee to provide for the following: continuously updated data sets for both above the surface and subsurface environments. precise positioning data from global navigation satellite systems gnss systems or resilient positioning navigation and timing pnt systems and internet of things sensors let's understand the institutional framework of geospatial data promotion and development committee gdpdc the government shall constitute a geospatial data promotion and development committee at the national level it shall be an apex body for formulating and implementing appropriate guidelines strategies and program for promotion of activities related to geospatial sector GDPDC would replace and subsume the functions and powers of National Spatial Data Committee NSDC and Geospatial Data Promotion and Development Committee Department of Science and Technology shall continue to be the nodal department of the government and GDPDC will make suitable recommendations to it now that was about the national geospatial policy 2022 let's take a practice question from the topic consider the statements with respect to national geospatial policy 2022 statement 1 it targets to develop a geospatial knowledge infrastructure gki by 2030 statement 2 geospatial data promotion and development committee GDPDC shall be the apex body for formulating programs related to geospatial sector 
Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below. Now, the correct answer is C. That is, both the statement 1 and 2 are correct. I hope you liked the video and found the information useful. You may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website. And for more such videos, stay tuned to the next IS YouTube channel.